Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Dirt and Trail. So you may have just bought your brand new CRF 300L for around the £5,000 mark and have some changes to con some change to consider upgrades and customise it to your needs. Or you may be scratching waiting for your bike to be delivered looking at possible modifications. So with this in mind, we put together some suggestions which we're going to run through in this video to hopefully serve as a one-stop shop guide to modifying your bike. At the end, we will also list all the upgrades in priority order of when we do them. So do let us know if you agree. Okay, to get straight into it, we're going to go through the potential mods from front to the back of the bike, generally speaking. So first on the list is a screen protector. For the sake of a few quid and to protect that TFT screen, we think it's a really good idea. Uh, in the absence of a, a 300L specific one, we fitted one for a CB125 or a CBR300. It's not perfect, but once fitted, it's fine and you don't notice it. So working backwards from there, we've got uh, braided brake lines. Hell or Van Hill are quality options and would hopefully improve the, the feel, uh, which is always positive and would also be a way to move the front brake hose out the way of the TFT screen if it bothered you that much. Uh, double tape mirrors would be next. They would be really useful, especially on those single tracks and fire roads. Plenty of options available on the market. Then we would come to bars as our next modification. We've grouped these together with as bars, risers, grips and handguards. So if you didn't know, the standard bars are prone to bending. It's personal choice, but for us, we think a rise is needed. I'm six foot with long legs, Andy's five foot eight with short arms, and we both agree. So we'll be opting for a fat bar, probably pro tape or rental. The industry seems to go for the CR high bend with few complaints. Quick mention of heated grips here. Now would be a good time to install if you are changing. Few choices of handguards, two point mounts, which are stronger and what most people go for, or the single point mounts you find on motocross stroke enduro bikes. So next is radiator braces. Some consider these essential. Uh, radiators can be soft and there's no fixing a leak when you're out and about. There is only a radiator on the right side as you look at it. Uh, the other side would be cosmetic uh, with water, reservoir and horn. Next would be frame guards. So this may seem like a small mod, but we definitely suggest it as soon as possible, especially if you're buying the bike new doesn't take long to start rubbing parts off the frame and other areas which is easily avoidable by just buying frame guards from the beginning. Hopefully a service or similar will have some available soon. Uh, in the meantime there are some metal options, uh, even zip tying parts of it and inner tube will stop anywhere as an interim measure. Something to bear in mind here, generally speaking the more motocross orientated your boots the more likely the wear. So next would be bash plate. Pretty self-explanatory, not going to go into this too much, uh, except say that the 250L one won't fit without some jiggery pokery. So we are looking into some options um, that cover all the important areas, including the water pump. Some are becoming available. Bike a bit based in Thailand have one available, but only between the frame and AdTech, A-D hyphen T-E-K. Now also have one available that covers everything and looks good, which you can see here. Next is the suspension. Yes, the suspension is soft, but if you have watched our videos, you'll see the types of trails we've ridden so far, which it has dealt with really well. So, however, this is about upgrades. So we're currently working with some companies on suspension options uh, from budget to the best quality. So we have little information at the moment, but we will post a full review when able to bring you some more info. And we are really excited about this and can't wait to get this video out for everyone. In the meantime, YSS have a shock available currently. Uh, and I believe Hagon have just released one as well, both around the 350 to 400 mark. Next would be the exhaust. So there are a few options on the market currently, uh, but sure that will change soon. One thing we would say if we were looking to change the exhaust, other than the looks, uh, is that we would 
definitely want it to keep or possibly improve the torque instead of making it faster at the top end or to rev out more. If, if an exhaust could give even one, possibly two foot pounds of torque, this would be brilliant and really noticeable when riding. Uh, another point to note is if you plan to, con to carry any luggage, you would need to consider if you could use the standard exhaust guard with the upgraded exhaust end can. Otherwise, you would need one to prevent melting your luggage. If you are looking for performance, we suggest pre improving the air intake too in order to maximize the changes. DNA filters have now just produced one specific to the 300L that they claim adds 10% extra airflow compared to the standard one. Always depending on what luggage you plan to carry, what riding you're doing, if you're staying overnight, etc. Uh, there are lots of luggage options and I'm sure um, lots will become available, but we're looking into some rack and luggage combina combination so we'll let you know as soon as, as soon as we get those biker bits now have a rack available uh, and another point to note the 250l rear rack will not fit usb positioning this may not seem like a modification um, as normal usb mounts will be installed on the bars but we have found that utilizing the toolbox or the space behind it will be more effective as it will keep the water and the dirt out Again, we'll do a review so you can see how well this has gone or not. Uh, general protection, fork shrink for the fork legs, front leg, front brake protector, uh, and clear film for plastics and graphics could be uh, something to consider to keep the bike as clean and mint as possible. Uh, levers, hands and feet, 250 levers will fit. Uh, but we're struggling to find adjustable brake and clutch levers, so do let us know if you know of any. Andy's really struggling to grab the clutch lever with his small hands, which is impacting his overall riding. Uh, from the feet, various companies uh, do replacement gear and brake levers, such as Zeta. Onto tyres, again, depending on your riding circ circumstances, will dictate tyre choices, and we won't go into the di different options, but do let us know how you get on. <laughs> What we can say is we'll be riding on the road to trails, to enduros and to uh, motocross tracks. So we'll be able to give a good review of, of how the standard ones perform. And the last on the list is bling. Lots of anodized parts are already available from the likes of Zeta again. If you're installing any, we'd love to see the pics of your bling bits when you've done them. So that's our list of modifications from front to back. We said at the beginning of the video we'd list these mods in order of importance for us and when we do them, which has actually turned out to be much harder than we thought, and we didn't agree. It's no means a definitive list, but here it is. So top of the list is frame guards. Yes, frame guards. If buying new, easy way to prevent that rubbing damage. Secondly, bass plate it explains itself. Thirdly, the screen protector, very small expense, possibly save a lot of money adjustable levers if you struggle to reach the clutch this would be a godsend bars and risers andy short i am tall we both agree it needs it suspension not the top of list because for many it will serve just fine um but certainly an area to improve on if you were looking at suspend uh, upgrade options then we've got the rear lack rear rack and luggage options rad braces double take mirrors, general protection, the fork shrink guards, film, etc. Then tires, uh, braided hoses, especially if you wanted that front hose out the way of the TFT screen, gearing, exhaust. Yes, you may be surprised to hear the exhaust so far down the list, but we think standard works just fine. And then finally, the, the USB positioning and the bling bits. So that's a really quick overview of the mods to consider. We hope it's inspired you to look into some of these options and customise your 300 to suit you. We will be adding many of the modifications listed here and be reviewing them, so do stay tuned for updates. Thanks for all the comments on all our videos. If there's anything you'd like us to cover, do let us know. Thanks for watching. Safe riding.